of the excitement when I give you back your Emacs WA, okay, uh, your Emacs homework for exercise 1.3, shall be just these three questions, 3, 5, and 8. Uh, yesterday, I also uh, changed the deadline for your homework that was meant to be due on Friday, due on Friday okay, I changed it to be due on Monday already, so this one changed to Monday. Uh. So for this one, could I confirm what is a good day? You tell me the junction zero. Wednesday? What? No. Tuesday. Tuesday now or not? Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday that is 27, right? Okay. 
make calculation, it will just be the powers adding up in order to give me 7 out of 6. Okay. The same logic will definitely apply even if it's a negative number. So let's say if I were to take negative 6. Okay. So understanding how our repeated multiplication works. Six in the 
numerator and 4 negative 6 in the denominator. Okay, so by what we have already known, we divide okay, on both the numerator and denominator by the same factor such that we end up getting 2 negative 6 in the numerator. Okay, and we get negative 6 to the power of 2 in the end. Okay, and we observe based on the powers okay, that 6 minus away 4 would then give us 2. Okay. So our law number 2 in our generic form we will have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. Bases must be the same. Then the eventual result will be a to the power of m minus n.
regarding indices. What if it is plus, right? And what, is, what if it's minus? Okay, we can go and think about it, but it is not the law that we're going to compare. But I think it's good for us to think about it. Thinking, what do we observe about these powers over here? 
They are just multiplying each other. Okay? So what we can conclude here then for law 3 is that if I have a to the power of n followed by another power of n, I can write it as a to the power of n times n. Practice 
is your loss number one, one to three. Okay. I'll give you about yes. X of nine. I'll give you about four minutes. Okay. If you still don't understand anything, please raise your hand. I'll talk to you. Okay.
we can write it this way first. Powers multiplying with each other. Okay, and then looking at just the numerator, all bases are the same. So I can place it into one single base where the powers add up to give us 6 q plus 4 q. Denominator remains unchanged. Okay. Then we see that okay, 6 q plus 4 q gives us 10 q. So maybe if you're fast enough, you can write it as 10 q, that's fine. In fact, if you're faster, you know that division will imply that it's minus in the powers. So we are looking at 3 to the power of 10 q minus 3 q, for which we get the end result of 3 to the power of 7 q. Okay. It's Q, not Okay. Questions? Right? Yeah. Nine. Three. That. Where? 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 Nine. This one. This one. Uh -huh. Three. That. Three. Nine. What do you think? Can I just multiply the bases like that? Give me try, uh, based on your logic, huh? Okay, answer is no, uh, okay? Because, you think about it, if let's say I have 3 to the power of, let's do small numbers, uh, 2 times 3 to the power of maybe 5, okay? Right? If your conclusion is 3 times 3 is 9, so, then what plus 5, uh? What is 9 to the power of 7? 9 to the power of 7, let's press calculator, we get 4, 7, 8, 2, 9, 6, 9. But if you press calculator for 3 squares times 3 to the power of 5, this happens to be all numbers, so we can press calculator. This is actually 2, 1, 8, 7. So now, 2, 1, 8, 7, by Benedict's conclusion, it is the same as 4 million 782,969 by what he has done. So, next time if you happen to employ uh, Benedict and you give him an annual pay of 4 million 782,969, your way of saving money is to just give him $2,187. Okay, that will be his annual pay. So understand, huh? okay, we cannot just multiply the pieces like that, right? So we need to clear about that. Okay, it's a common uh, mistake, like, common misconception, right? But we just need to be very clear about what we're doing, okay? Right, now let's look at law number four, okay? Multiply the bases. Okay. 
okay? So, why is it that we multiply the base? It is because powers are the same. Okay? Earlier on, bases are the same. Alright? Powers are different. Okay? So, what we conclude out of this for law number 4, is that if I have a to the power of n times b to the power of n, I can get a times b to the power of n. Okay? So powers remain the same throughout bases multiply with each other. Oh, 
six times seven to the power five. And then now I can add the powers together and I can say seven to the power eleven. Okay. But okay, I cannot do that if let's say I have twenty-one to power three times seven to the power five. Right? Because twenty-one can be cannot be expressed as a base of seven. Okay. So this one, there's no way to simplify. Okay, then after that, uh, we will go into our negative and zero next.